This color right here, and then I got some sponges and stuff like that that I'm going to kind of drip the other colors on. This type of artwork? Um, well, for as long as I can remember, I've always been really interested in graffiti. Um, I remember being just like a little kid riding in the car with my mom and just noticing all the graffiti up on billboards and overpasses and stuff like that. And uh, just wondering like how they did it. And, and more importantly, why, why would they risk all that? Why, why would they risk their lives and risk going to jail <laughs> over, you know, putting a, a graffiti piece up? So, I actually just started doing it about a year ago, is when I started sketching and actually painting myself. And I don't know, I guess for me it's a, just another outlet. Um, I've always been into art, but you can, you can do art and put it up in galleries all day long, but if you wanna, if you wanna reach, you know, the average, person, you're going to reach more people if your stuff is up on the freeway or you know, on a billboard or something like that. Well, with Montana, you have, you know, like a couple hundred color choices. Whereas if you go into, you know, a hardware store and buy Corylon, there's you just got like the basic colors. And also, the Montana cans are, they're like, they're pretty much like an airbrush. Like they're really perfect. Like the way the, the paint comes out is really consistent and really smooth. So, just get a lot more detailed with them.
Sometimes when you do bigger productions, you need a little more people to help you out, kids in your crew or something. And uh, if you know one dude does his drawing, his sketch out for his piece, you got the other kids in your crew helping him out and uh, just doing some fill-ins with them, and you know, just help your bro out when you can. That's just just how graffiti is. I got his back, so uh, helping him out with this piece here. You know, try and get things done as fast as we can, and just get as clean as possible. Day three, um, we worked about probably eight hours yesterday on this thing, just uh, getting everything, everything filled in, uh, the flames all blended in and stuff. Uh, we also got the 3D, the yellow, all filled in, which we actually ran out of, so it's not as clean as. I would have liked it to be. Um, and then today, Tom's just sitting back watching, and I'm doing all the outlines on it, which is probably going to be the hardest part, getting the outlines perfect, because I don't have all the colors to retouch it back up if I mess up. So it's always the scariest part, doing the black outlines. And then uh, got a few more things to do on it, highlights and bubbles and then finally we're gonna do a face at the very end. So that's about it. Why is it uh, the scariest part to do the lines, the black outline? Well, until you do the black outlines, that kind of makes the piece right there. So if you screw them up, it's, it's a lot harder to fix them than the rest of the piece. Um, especially on this piece, just because like I said, I ran out of a lot of the colors that I did have, so if I mess up, that's it. There's no touching it back up, so it's pretty stressful. I've never painted like a, a free, like a legal wall before, so I think this is going to be really good to, you know, see what kind of skills I have.